Hey yo, what's dripping YouTube? It's your boy Stow here, but to bring y'all another banger video. Y'all listen up. This video for those who have been having issues with the NVIDIA filters settings. Yo, being applied while they streaming. And guys, this right here will help you all out to get no flickering during your stream. Like I, I did, I did say it. You will get no flickering during your live streams. God, listen up. I've been looking for this, this solution for a long time. And this, hey, this will help you all out. It helped me out, help other friends of mine out, and I guarantee we're gonna help you all out. And if it don't, y'all let me know in the comment section. We're gonna get this thing figured out. And guys, like I say, I'm gonna make this video short. It's not gonna be that long. I'm gonna get right to the point. Uh, just stay tuned. I will be uh, letting y'all know what to do during the actual um, during the actual video that we're gonna be showing you all. If y'all do go ahead and to enjoy this video, it'd be greatly appreciated y'all subscribe that like button. If if y'all new to the channel, it'd be greatly appreciated y'all subscribe up that subscribe button, which I, which I know a lot of you all. Go ahead, turn on post notifications. No way you can get notified every time I upload new content. Hey, I'm gonna be giving y'all tips and tricks, all type of good stuff. Hey, subscribe and come back through. And also, guys, y'all wanna come to my live stream? I do live stream on Twitch. So come through, rock out with your boy every single day. It's gonna be a banger. So, hey, let's get right into the video for yourselves. All right, guys, right now, so we are located inside the private game match right now. Or custom, whatever whatever you want to call it, whatever you prefer. But anyways, right now, y'all see how the game is looking real washed away, and I'm going to let you all know how to apply your NVIDIA filters right now. All right, guys, it's going to be real simple, and then also, I'm going to be letting you all know how to not get the no flickering on your live stream to better, you know, give you a better experience and your audience a better experience, too. Okay, so right now we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the Alt Z. We can bring up our filters, all right? And then as y'all can see, once I apply that, y'all see how the game already changed already. And right now I'm using three filter, filters, which is sharpen, color, and brightness uh, with contrast, all right? And you can copy these settings right here. You can pause the video and copy these settings right here. I'll show you my color as well. And you could put your vibrance all the way up to 100, which I can see the little difference, but I like to keep. I can put y'all vibrance up to like uh, 100, but I can keep mine like at 60, like I said. I'm gonna show you all, once you apply split screen, you're gonna see a a, a, a big change, right? You see a big change. As you can see right now, on my left side of my screen, it is just washed up. So, don't look exciting, but on the right side of my screen, you know, I do have that, that popping sensation. You know, on the left side, how it, it just looks dull. Yeah, if I go, if I look more to my right, it looks dull, but if I go to my left, you see the colors are popping a whole lot more. And, and right here, you can see enemies that's gonna be on head glitches and things like that. You know, not on everyone, but for the most part, you'll be able to see them. Here you go, go to another area where you can pretty much try to get like a, uh, a better visual. Like this green, you see the green can pop a whole lot more when it comes to like the grass. You know, back here on this top area. So guys, also right now, let us know about how to get the no flickering. What you need to do is, listen, what you need to do is, you need to apply a display capture inside your Streamlabs OBS or just your regular OBS, whatever you, whatever your streaming platform is, add a display capture. I know a lot of us are been, have been playing on the game capture. If you apply those settings on the game capture, you will get those flickering within you know, your gameplay. What you need to do is create a new source, like I mentioned, add a display capture, apply your filters, and you will have a successful Screen, I guarantee it. If you all do not, just let me know in the comment section if this tips did not help you all out. And if it did, let me know if this tip helped you all out. Hey, I'm here. Follow me in my Discord. Join my Discord. That way you can hit me up in my DM uh, if you want to get further uh, information to apply these filters or if you have any kind of type of issue. All right, guys. If y'all do go ahead and enjoy this video, like I mentioned earlier, go ahead and sauce up that like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. If you want to make your way back around here. Get that good, saucy, drippy content, your tips and tricks, all right? And come to my live stream, which I like I mentioned, I do live stream on Twitch every single day. 
come out and rock with your boy. And like I say, these filters are awesome. Hey, do not forget that tip. Add a display capture as your source in your streaming platform. All right? Go to your Streamlabs OBS, display capture, do it. Disable your game capture, add a display capture, and these settings will work for you. All right? Now take it easy and go enjoy yourself. Apply those settings. You dig? One love.